day 43 becoming Christopher Cruz. I just put on this coat and I was like, this thing feels fucking big. It feels loose. I'm losing weight. Maybe it's because I didn't eat anything yesterday because I was heartbroken. <laughs> so uh, yeah, maybe that's it. No, fuck that. I'm actually losing weight and that's really cool because I could push my stomach out all the way and it's still loose. Holy shit, that's fucking cool. Damn. Oh, it's beautiful out, like the perfect temperature. God, today has been, I feel like I say this every fucking day. Today's been crazier, today's been a roller coaster. Maybe that's just the theme of my life. Am I the only person who feels like this on a daily basis? Maybe this is what happens when you're like going after the life of your dreams and living into your destiny and becoming the greatest version of yourself, trying to change the world. Like every day is just a fucking epic drama <laughs> and an emotional roller coaster. Like I woke up numb as fuck, then felt a little sad and felt stressed. I mean, I went through all the emotions today, but posting publishing this Becoming Christopher Cruz and putting it out to the world, that I feel so light. I feel so fucking light because it's like, here I am. Love me or hate me, here I am. This is my soul. I'm bearing my soul to the world so I don't have to hold anything. I literally feel lighter. That, and that just gave me the chills right before I said that because I was like, I put my arm up and I was like, holy shit, I feel so light. Maybe that's why I feel so skinny. I lost a lot of energetic weight by making that live. But that's a really big deal because like it's the good, the bad, the ugly, the pretty, it's all of it wrapped into one thing. And so putting that out there feels like I don't have to hide anymore. I don't have to pretend. I don't have to act like I got it all together. I could just be real as fuck. And the people that see it will know the real me and they'll either love me, hate me, or not give a shit. And so I don't really fucking care. The only thing that matters is that I love me. And if I focus my attention and effort on doing things that make me love myself, and if I focus my attention and effort on people that love me, then I'm gonna live an amazing life. And that's what I need to do. I need to really surround myself right now with people that love me, that people that accept me because this is fucking hard and I feel sad. And I was learning about my, um, my attachment style today, which is anxious, preoccupied, which fucking sucks. Ugh. And the video she was talking about no contact and how people who are pre anxious, preoccupied suck at no contact. But if they can get past a week, that's good. If they can get past two weeks, that's really good. If they can get to a month, they're golden. That's the hardest part. It's just getting to that like week or two mark. I mean, for me, it's just getting to the fucking end of the day mark. I already messaged her today. Um, yeah, I just need to fucking figure it out. I think I went through this exercise that she did and she said in the video that you got to write down when you go through a breakup, you have to write down what that person brought out of you, um, what they brought to the relationship and what needs they fulfilled because that's really important to get clear on that because that's a big reason why you miss someone so much because the needs they fulfilled or how they made you feel about yourself or what they brought to the table. And, you know, I look at my relationship with her and she really pushed me to step the fuck up and get my business going and be an adult. And she also brought a lot of fun. We joked around so much. We talked a lot of shit, love, obviously connection. And I just really felt like I, I wasn't alone some of the time. 
a lot of the time in the not a lot of the time, but some of the time in the relationship, I felt like I was alone, and that's really fucking hard. But yeah, it fulfilled a lot of needs. And she said that when you break up, you're gonna miss those things if you don't fulfill them yourself. And so, like, connection, I think, is one of the biggest ones because she was the only one that I was really like open with. Not even fully open though, but the most open with, the most vulnerable with, the most connected with, and now that's gone. And I need to take care of that connection with myself or someone else. But I don't fucking know. It's just part of the journey. I don't know what I'm doing. That's the truth. I don't know what I'm doing but I'm figuring it out as I go, so that's good. But yeah, another crazy day. You know the good thing about the days, <laughs> these days lately, is I feel like they start kind of meh or shitty and then they end really well. So it's like as I go into the, throughout the day, things get better. I don't fucking know. I'm a roller coaster right now.